what is the point of having multiple monitors if you don't always have a click game up on one of them, netting you massive amounts of money without having to be super engaged? Enter Cell to Singularity Beyond. The base game features a primary simulation, where you don't need to spend any time actually if you just want to jump right into the brand new DLC. You start out leveling up the sun, gradually gathering more and more resources called entropy to discover planets, asteroids, and moons. Each evolution cycle will restart your universe, but getting back on track is really easy. I found the game to be really intuitive. There's not much that jumps out as different from other clicker games, so the basics are really easy to follow. There's a lot of learning also involved in the game. Aside from opening up planets to use for entropy, you're also given facts about the celestial bodies that you're encountering. So there's a lot of downtime in clicker games, so having something to read while you wait for your resources to build was a really nice touch. There are, of course, some parts of the game that are pay to play, but I never felt I needed them at the start of the game. I played for a few hours and didn't feel like I was frustrated by the progression, except for one part, which I'll get into in a few moments. I really enjoyed my time playing this game. There's also the ability to collect fragments to put together the Zodiac constellations, which was unfortunately a part that I didn't quite get to. I played the game for a few hours, but unfortunately I got to a point where I had to click on the screen a few hundred or probably more times to gain the entropy that I needed to progress. And I had to put the game down. I have chronic pain, so dealing with that, I would have had to play the game several times over the next few days to be able to click the amount of times that I needed to progress the game. The planets, moons, and stars themselves have cards that automate that very quickly and early in the process, so the clicking part is pretty minimal other than that. But I do hope that there's some adjustments or augmentations made for people who can't click endlessly for 15 plus minutes to progress. I look forward to seeing where they go with this game. It's definitely one I'll be keeping an eye on with any updates to the accessibility systems. Cells to Singularity Beyond is available for free on Steam right now, so give it a try and let me know what you think down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.